I haven't made a coronavirus video, COVID-19 video yet. Wasn't really sure what to say. Um, a lot of people, and rightfully so, are taking it super, super seriously. And then there's a lot of people that aren't. And those people fight all the time. Um, the facts are out there. You can believe what you choose to believe. Um, I have a very different perspective on it than a lot of people. I'm married to a first responder, a life flight nurse, air medical transport nurse, and an NMP. Yeah, that's all the same person. I'm not married to three different people. She just does a lot. <laughs> so uh, I see and hear about stuff that goes on firsthand more so than a lot of people would. And um, I'm not going to give her opinion on anything because that's for her to say and hers only. These opinions are strictly just mine from things that I have heard and learned over the years. And I've formed my own opinion. Now, I don't understand why uh, most people just can't see other people's point of views on things. Just because I say something and I believe in something, I am fully aware that, that it may not be right, it may not be accurate, so I'm always open to hearing people's other's opinions. But it's people's other, it's people with those other opinions that cannot see or even acknowledge the fact that they might be wrong. They read something, they hear it, they believe it, so if you don't believe them, you're wrong. And that's crazy. So that's why I pretty much did, haven't made a video about this. I am not the type of person to argue or debate something on the internet. In person, absolutely. I am a very direct person, no matter the subject, no matter the topic. I would 1 million percent much rather debate you in person than on the internet. I don't want to do it on Facebook. I don't want to do it on Twitter. That's ridiculous. Let's do it in person. Let's have some fun. Let's let's meet up and talk about whatever subject it is that you feel I'm wrong about in person. I hate the internet <laughs> for that reason. I love the internet. But uh, that's one thing about it that gets me. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't made a COVID-19 video. And I'm not here to discuss COVID-19 as in like, oh, is it serious? Is it not serious? Clearly it's serious. And that's all I've got to say about that. But where I'm from, Halifax, Nova Scotia, uh, the Nova Scotia rates have been dropping significantly, which is amazing. I love to hear that. Yesterday's report, and yesterday was June 2nd. This might even be from June 1st. So this report is from within either June 1st or June 2nd, the last couple of days. It is not from today, which is June 3rd. It says, Nova Scotia reporting no new COVID-19 cases. Let me see. Make sure it has the date here. Um... 22. Okay, yeah, this is from yesterday, June 2nd. I just want to be specific on that. Um, Nova Scotia reporting no new COVID-19 cases and no new deaths today. It's amazing. I love hearing that. It's sad where the majority of our deaths have taken place. Uh, it, it's a retirement home uh, complex, and 53 of the 60 people that have died have been from Northwood, that same complex. Just just horrifying i couldn't imagine living there i couldn't imagine being the the workers that are working there every one of them deserve a medal for the risk that they've put themselves through recently um the rundown we've had 1057 confirmed cases in nova scotia um 60 people have unfortunately passed away 53 of those are at northwood like i said 992 people have recovered Currently, only five active cases and down eight from yesterday. Yesterday would have been, on this report, June 1st. So, we're doing really well. Uh, we had no new cases. And the city of Halifax is now, or province of Nova Scotia at least, New Brunswick as well, and I believe PEI, but I haven't heard much about PEI. But I'm just going to specifically talk about Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia has started to reopen uh, almost everything now. June 5th, which is a couple days from now, is supposed to be like the day that the majority of things will end up opening. And that's fantastic. Uh, the gyms are reopening. I personally will not be going back to the gym when it reopens right away. Just because, like I said, of what my wife does, I am in a different risk factor of spreading it. 
I, I, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't care if I get the virus. I'll be fine. I'm a healthy person. Yeah, and that's me too. I'm a healthy person. I work out regularly, run every day, lift weights every day. But it's not about me. I would feel terrible. There's a lot of elderly people that go to the gym. I would feel terrible. And there's a lot of people that are asymptomatic when they get COVID-19. You may have had it and not even realized you've had it. So if I, if I got it and I had it and I was asymptomatic and I was feeling okay, I would feel terrible if I went to the gym or somewhere else and gave it to someone, uh, to gave it to someone that was elderly and that maybe wasn't as in good as health as I am. And then they got terribly sick. It's just not worth the risk for me. Um, I hear about these stories every day and it's just, it's just not worth it. I do don't want to put that risk on someone. So if it means I have to stay at home another month and work out and go for my runs outside um, to help not spread this, then that's what I'm going to do. If it's one month, if it's two months, whatever it is, it's not about me. It's about making sure that other people don't get it and other people are able to do the things that they enjoy. I'll gladly work at home, work out at home in my basement uh, for a little extra longer because... Uh, it means I can keep someone else safe. If there's a 1% chance that I can keep someone else safe, I'm keeping my butt home. Um, and, and that's how I feel about it. Uh, the kids haven't left the house in like three months. I haven't other than like a random trip to the grocery store to get some stuff that we need and my daily runs. I haven't left the basement. Um, that's where I spend most of my time. I have a rest of a house. <laughs> But uh, the majority of my, my man caves in the basement. So I like spending most of my time there. Me and my dog, we like to hang out in the basement and watch TV and play video games and all that stuff. And now with what I do in the world of professional wrestling, everybody is super down and super rightfully so that professional wrestling on an independent level has pretty much shut down worldwide. The only two companies running on a regular basis right now is uh, World Wrestling Entertainment and All Elite Wrestling, WWE and AEW, and they're doing it out of Florida. So people, now that they've been starting lifting restrictions, people are like, oh, is wrestling coming back? When's wrestling coming back? I don't think anytime soon, um, because even if wrestling was to come back, you would still have to factor in social distancing with the fans. And that's going to be something that's really hard to control because the fans get really into a show. They get really emotional. They jump up and down. They clap. They cheer. They do all that stuff. So keeping that social distancing of uh, two meters, six feet during an event will be extremely hard. Can it be done? Absolutely. Is it likely? Probably not. But this is one time I would love to be 100% wrong. I would love to see somebody run a show, figure out, how to keep that two meter, six feet social distancing thing, social distancing thing work, make it work, and run a fantastic wrestling show. I don't care who it is, where it is. I would love to see it done. Um, maybe I'm just being a, a skeptic, uh, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But like I said, I hope I'm wrong. I would love to see it done. I would love to see it done safely, but I would also rather wait until there's no chance of risking this thing and making it worse and having it come back for a second time, like a lot of people think may happen. Um, there's some people out there that believe that they're opening things up too fast. But I think if you don't open up things at all, it's going to cause other people more problems. So if people can go out, do a little bit of shopping, visit some friends, keep that social distancing intact, and our numbers keep saying staying low, Keep it up. Keep opening up more stuff. But if the numbers start to spike again, I think they need to haul it back a little bit, unfortunately. But that's what I think of the whole thing. Uh, I get asked multiple times every day about independent wrestling in the Maritimes. And I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, like I said, I hope I'm wrong. I would love to be wrong. I, I started with three other people, a promotion myself this year after being screamed at for years new scott when are you running shows new scott you're running shows what do you want to show do you want to run a show together blah 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 and i said no for when's the last time i don't know over a decade i've said no 
uh, to running shows. I said, yes, this year we ran one show and then the apocalypse hit. <laughs> so hopefully that's not a sign of things to come with, with me running shows with uh, my three buddies. First show was fantastic. Absolutely love it. Um, can't wait to be back there again. So that's basically what I'm going to say. I'm going to give, I want, I want to start giving little updates about Halifax. My buddy, bad Chad Lindsay runs a site called Sackville.live on Facebook. If you haven't liked it, check it out. If, especially if you're in the area, check it out. He does amazing, amazing things for it. I want to do something like that for Halifax or the area where I live as well. Totally stealing his idea. Not for Sackville though. Um, but uh, I think what he does for that area is fantastic. He's a very good following. He tells people things that are going on in the area there. And people absolutely love it. I want to start doing... I know there's probably a million for Halifax. But I want to be a million and one. Because I love the city I live in. I love the place I live in right now. I grew up here, moved away, came back. Not Halifax. Just like the town I'm in right now. So I would love to do something like that where I live as well. Looking into the ways I can do it. Definitely going to... Uh, Definitely going to start something up like that. I'm going to start bringing up, like, I get asked all the time. Is this open? Is that open? Why people ask me is beyond me. I have no idea. But uh, I don't mind look, looking up information for people. So I figured why not make a YouTube video and maybe other people will be helped as well. That's why I do all of this stuff. It's not for me. I do the independent wrestling stuff. To, I have the largest platform in maritime wrestling it, by a lot. And that's not me bragging. That's just the work I've put into it for 20 years. And I've never really used it to push myself i i've become popular or known or whatever the ridiculous term is simply because i've been around for a long time but i've never used it to push my own agenda or anything like that i've always done it to promote other people i've done it to uh promote uh the boys the women of maritime wrestling help get their product out there um and that's what i love doing this video has gone all over the place but i love it i love this video i know i'm gonna make a video and i'm like i hate that video but that's what i do that's my point my point is i enjoy helping people i could care less about me being well known if so and so wrestler gets a booking gets his match watched by somebody that likes it that's all that matters to me it's absolutely nothing to do with me I've been asked to be a part of shows uh, a lot more than I am, but no, I'm 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 good. Will there become a time where I might do something? Maybe, but uh, it's it's not about me. It's about the boys and girls in that ring that are doing it, and it, whatever I can do to help them get recognized, I'm going to do. That's basically it. There's COVID nineteen. This is some wrestling. This is some all kinds of stuff. I like this video. I'm a fan of this video. But yeah, so I'm going to start doing some local stuff. Try to bring some little news to my area. All that random good stuff. I hope you guys are having a good day. This is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. New Scott, signing off. And my camera moved. Signing off. Yeah.